So today, this morning is very productive, it's 9.30. I probably this is my sixth or seventh video that I made in a day. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually doing this. Okay, so I was very, very surprised about this. I know many of you guys don't know this app. So in myself, I just found out about it yesterday in Pesa. And you can have an app, or you don't use. Um, you can have an app, and as well, you can use it as an SMS, sending money. So this concept has been developed by the Kenya and is a very popular uh, in the African community to send money um, within the continent or international as long the phone provider accepts this sort of thing. Now yesterday my co-worker is Kenya he chose me about this whole thing and I was shocked because the way how he sends money is it's like a I don't know you guys have a prepaid uh, prepaid phone and usually it's either you make a phone call you ask what's the digits blah 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 on the on the prepaid card or you make a um, you know a payment so for those who does not know i'll explain to you there's a number that you text and then you'll come back and say do you want to check your balance recharge or you want to add a credit card or whatever the reason behind or customer service or issue or whatever and you just press numbers and it just pops on the SMS very quickly. Right? And then obviously you finalize your payment, maybe because you have stored your bank card or whatever, you already got the account. Boom. And then that's how you got your recharge on your phone. It works exactly the same way with this concept. Apparently this concept has been built for 15 years. And I, I confirmed it with my, my, my mate about this. He's like, yeah, we use this, it's a very popular thing. Um, why and I, and I asked them why would you use this in comparison with bank like Michael Moore bank transfer to their bank account or I use Western Union or other companies whatever they say well it's a higher rate there's a commission or exchange rate or blah 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 okay I don't want to get into this you guys will not yeah and I and this guy showed me the way how he sent money the way how I explained the way the prepaid but the only difference is that they'll get the, uh, the African number, phone number, mobile number of that issue, transfer the money, and do whatever the, you know, how much is the amount, and you confirm, and you send, like, boom, done deal, done set, no more. And I was surprised, I'm like, this technology does not require 3G, does not require 4G, does not even require what's today, 5G. Uh, yet in the Western world, we are having problems with cyber, data breach, or, or hackers or scammers stealing money from our bank accounts, or X, Y, and Z. And I said to him, I'm like, this is a very, very efficient technology that 2G anywhere around the world can use. He said, you don't need the internet data, you don't need any of that, this is a 2G. And obviously when you have this app in PESA, uh, it even goes even further. This, this is the mind blowing part is going to come in. As we know, um, for example, let's just say I send you money and you're in this location. And then I'll, in this app, they will say, okay, um, your mate is in this uh, location and they want to, or I want to cash out or they want to cash out. I, I, the, the, no matter how it works. So it's like a form of like an ATM, but they call it agent. So they set up like a small shop or small store in whatever the region it is and you can go there and take cash out I'm just there I'm like wow this is mind blasting technology to, it's gone to this deep and I'm just there I'm like wow that's above and beyond this is like so advanced than the western world like we relied on the big banks or, the, or, or commercial banks right this feels like a humanistic approach and I was very surprised about it and I could see the fact that um, people in Africa proved us Westerners wrong as we claiming them backwards where they will be a lot more acceptable um, and learning curve 
and accepting the technology of cryptocurrency or trading or whatever or, or, or this sort of form or CBDC because of um, they already have this notion already but it get rid of the humanistic side of it only if they got rid of the humanistic side of it the the, the virtual asset away from it I reckon they'll law accept a lot more people than here um, especially those who are highly educated IQs who study abroad and go back I reckon they'll be the first one to accept the whole thing or businessmen to accept it a lot more higher than us I'm just speaking on that I uh, like I said um, they say it's Kenya money shillings oh, I was like I was like what the heck is shillings Kenya shillings I haven't heard shillings for a long time it's like some uh, <laughs> some Asian wording but yeah that's what they say on the app um, I don't know what to say I'm just very very oh wow they even have Chinese and Vietnamese I'm very surprised I'm very very surprised you could do business transaction you can buy things with it so pay ID look what we have right now so if you have the concept of phone numbers we have the pay ID just recently introduced by our app Alexa say you know my mate just paid the meal we're there we need to split all right what's your phone number okay no problem I'll send it to you boom but there's also hey William you, you sent it to the wrong person or you never gave it to my bank account there's always this notion behind or whatever how it is and that's why I said with Impesa there's a text message of the reference of where this money transaction immediately so that's why I say it, it is a 2G network banking system beats our 5G where we need an internet reception transfer um, X Y and Z this is a very very important that I'm saying right now